and do a fast bath bomb video with you guys. I am in the process of making about a thousand to twelve hundred of these little bath bombs right now. Um, so I just wanted to get on here and show you real quick how I do it. Um, I will probably just fast forward and play music through most of this one because it's very repetitive. Uh, in this bowl here, I have all of my powder ingredients mixed together already with um, some bath bomb colorant. And I have red in here, so it will probably be a pink, a dark pink maybe. It has baking soda, citric acid, cornstarch. Um, my brain just stopped. <laughs> bath bomb color it then in this little um, cup back here I have fragrance oil uh, rubbing alcohol a little bit of water my polysorbate 80 and then I'm getting ready to bring over my oil my oil and butters this is my double butter recipe so I've melted this in my pan that I use for melting butters and um, so let's just get started. Right now I'm just going to mix in my fragrance, my, and the rest of my liquids in with my oil and butters. Just get that mixed in really good. And then we'll slowly add it into the powders and make bath bombs. It's, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. <laughs> Today I am using my mini bath bomb maker. My gloves are beautiful. Hi guys. Sorry about that. Kid came in asking questions, <laughs> but I'm back. So today, like I was saying, I am using the mini mold that I have. Um, this is a meatball maker that I've taken the handles off of, and it's the perfect size for a bath. Um, you can use one and it's great or you can use two mix fragrances whatever you would like to do um, it's my most popular size and I'm having trouble with these gloves right now I hate gloves they never fit so let's get started you want to add it in slowly at first because you don't want it to bloom too much um, you don't want it to activate your citric acid and baking soda too much. A lot of people like to add in their citric acid last so that it doesn't do that. I don't. I like to do it like this. This is how I've done it forever and it's just the way that works best for me. Everybody has their own way of doing it that works for them. And I'm probably the world's messiest bath bomb maker. I always make a huge mess. And you can see on the sides, I don't know if you can, but the mix is starting to activate just a little bit. That's okay, because once we get it all mixed together, it'll be fine. Okay, and I'm going to add in the last of this. Now you can probably see that it's activating. <laughs> Again, not a big deal. You don't want it to do it too much because then your bath bombs won't fizz in the bath. But I have never had a problem with it like this. They still fizz and act all crazy in the water. And you just want to get all of the light colored bits mixed in and then you want it to kind of feel like wet sand make sure and get down at the bottom Oh, 
A lot of people also like to use um, a mixer, a stand mixer, to mix up their bath balm powder. Um, I have found that I don't like that as much because I like to be able to feel what it feels like as I'm mixing it with my hands. I do it by, by touch, mostly. Okay, so now when you pick it up and you squeeze it together, you want it to stick together. So that's perfect. And I'm gonna have to lose these gloves. Okay, I'm back. I went and I washed my hands. I cannot work with those gloves right now. <laughs> I just can't feel what's going on and they keep falling off. So I went and scrubbed my hands real good so that they're clean before I touch any of this. Okay, and so our powder mix is about perfect now. See, it stays together, which is exactly what we want. So what I do is I take my bath bomb molds, Oops. get this all nice and smooth, and I just push it together, and hopefully it comes apart. Sometimes it doesn't, like that. See, so that means one of two things. My mix isn't right, or my mold's just being a pain in the butt. And since I know my mix is right, it's my mold. Let me go get a spoon real quick. So when that happens, I just get a spoon. Squish it in. Beat it into submission. <laughs> Just like that. So now let's do the rest of them. This is gonna be a long video if it keeps doing that. I haven't made bath bombs in several months. So I gotta get my groove back.
guys, here is our small batch of Fruit Loop scented mini bath bombs. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll bring you back. I'm going to be making some that I call kitty wash. Um, they're a dupe of Honey I Wash the Kids from Lush. But these are the mini Fruit Loop. Thanks for watching!